lovely friends, Lori here on Vancouver Island, and I am back to give you another garden tour. I thought I would start out by just showing you my view from the front of my house. You can see all the stuff in bloom. And here we go. Here are my little dwarf lilacs. They have flowered once. They are supposed to flower three times in the year. They're supposed to flower in the spring, and then they're supposed to flower in the summer, and they're supposed to flower again in the fall. Now they didn't do that last year. Well, some of that I gotta come and cut off. They didn't do that last year, but that's probably because I put them in midsummer, and so they didn't do much of anything. They're looking good. And here we got lots growing. I came in today and bent over all my daffodil branches and just kind of tied them together. That, they're not quite so messy that way. But you can see my marshmallow is just going crazy. I think I need to look because I do want to harvest this this year. And so I want to know if I wait till the flowers bloom or do I want to cut the flower heads off? so because it's going to be covered in flowers in a matter of days i got some lilies look at how beautiful that is. i think that's a lily i don't know i think that's what i put in here <laughs> look at how beautiful it is hopefully there will be more it's the first year that's put out flowers uh more of those here uh, over here i have my Echin one of my echinacea plants and it's doing delightfully and then I've got another marshmallow plant there. Not quite as big, but still doing well. So here are my dahlias. Oh my goodness, they're covered in ants and wasps. That's not lovely. <laughs> but I guess it is what it is, as long as they're going to open. But they're almost opened. Uh, there's my uh, narcissus, which I also tied up. And let's see, this rose is finally starting to put some stuff out. It's putting some bulbs out. Growing good. I gotta come out and spray these off. Look, they got that white foam on them. I don't remember what that is. It's some kind of a bug. It's not really harmful, but. And then look at this little bug. I can get it to not fly away. And you can see it in this GoPro. I don't know if that's a ladybug. It looks like a ladybug, but it doesn't have any dots. So, I don't know. Maybe you can tell me if you actually could see it. It's hard to tell. It's so sunny out here. I can't really see what my camera is seeing. Uh, I've got some little sunflowers that have come up here. These are going to get about two and a half feet tall. And they're just ornamental. Uh, what else? My other roses... Here I've got two of my echinacea, or two of my uh, 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 calendula, or four of them have come up. I'm not seeing anything back there except for that traveling, traveling blue bonnet, which is invasive around here and impossible to get rid of. Mint is looking okay. I don't see any sign of any yarrow coming up at all. I may have planted that too late for it to come out. Lots of this creeping bellflower coming up. And there's a new rose that I put in there. Over here, I planted some more sunflowers today because I have a few that didn't come up. And then I've got some lilies in here and lots of weeds. <laughs> and back there, I got a couple of lilies and a climbing rose that I kind of started directing. Oh, I missed a branch, so I'll need to come out and there, do something with that one. <laughs> Alrighty, here we go, backyard. So my white lilac is done. I didn't harvest it because I'm not a huge fan of lilac tea and I already had some, so I didn't bother harvesting it. Same with my purple one over there. I won't harvest it. And I let these chives go to flower because I didn't really have anything flowering in my yard. 
and I wanted to leave something for the bees, so I'm just gonna let them set seed, and we'll go from there. You see, I've got some more oregano growing down there. Tons and tons of weeds. Other stuff, I have no idea what it is. Like, I don't know what this is. I'll have to come out here with my app and find out, but look at it, it's got fuzzy. I wonder if it's a ground cherry. <laughs> I did throw some out here last year. Um, that would be funny, wouldn't it? Anyway, I'll leave it until I identify it. There's my lavender. This is just hay or grass or something. Uh, sorrel is doing well. Look at my sage. It is going to flower any day now. And it's going to be just beautiful. Oh, and look at my thyme is putting out some flowers. So I just trimmed it all, so I'm not going to do that again. But uh, I'll let it flower this time. I have some grass growing in the middle of this thing. It's kind of aggravating. Uh, my blueberries aren't really doing anything this year, but I'm not really expecting them to. Uh, they need probably another year to grow before they actually start doing something. I need to come in and make kind of a barrier around each one because they're getting overtaken with ground cover and stuff in this. This is going to be my permaforest part of my yard. So uh, my lamb's ear, <laughs> time to come out and harvest it as well before it goes flowering. Uh, I don't want it flowering. I want to harvest some of these leaves. They are fabulously soft. Soft, soft, soft leaves. They're wonderful. Uh, Rosemary's doing okay. Purple lilacs everywhere. <laughs> mm, I just love lilacs. Alrighty, let's keep going. Oh, there's the oregano. I harvested it, it's doing fine, it's all coming back. And I've got it all over my yard, so <laughs> not too concerned. Uh, here are some of my Survival Seeds 2024 plants. These are my two pepperoncinis. Actually, there's three. There's one in that pot. Oh, there's not three. I must have, I must have just gotten rid of one of them because I had three, uh, but I've got two there now. They're doing lovely. And then I have some catnip in the middle there. Over here's my Aunt Molly's cherry. And look at, she is putting out some sweet little fruit already. So that's nice. Here's my bergamot herb. Uh, this one had stevia in it and it died. So I reseeded it today. Over here, I have tarragon and my three planters with echinacea. And Dave says that I will need to get rid of these because look at there's moss growing on them. And <laughs> so I will probably retire these this fall and move this echinacea somewhere else. So yeah, and then I have my five, my, my five color um, Chinese peppers over here. Got two of them, my garlic jungle, and my beautiful five-year-old apple tree that I grew from seed that I am super, super proud of. It looks just beautiful. No fruit yet, but probably, they say between six and 10 years before you get fruit on it, if it's even gonna fruit, because it's from a store-bought apple. So I don't know what it's gonna put out <laughs> or anything like that, but, I grew an apple tree from seed, so that's pretty cool. I think, anyway. And look at my grapes. Oh my gosh, they are covered in grapes. Absolutely covered in grapes. And I'm wondering, like there are stalks that have multiple grapes on them. Should I, should I trim some of those off or should I just let them grow? Uh, I don't know, quite frankly. I have no idea whether I should like trim some of them off or just let them all grow. I mean, they're, I'm not, I only harvest them for ourselves, right? 
Uh, I am gonna have so many grapes. I need to come in here and trim off some of these leaves already so that this can start getting some beautiful sun uh, and then save the leaves for tea. Here are my bell peppers. I also have a cucumber back there in, a cor in the corner. And this is a little Tom Thumb tomato. And the rest of these are bell peppers. And I have a marigold, of course. Marigolds everywhere. <laughs> Great bug protection. This is, oh gosh, what is this? I have absolutely no idea. Oh, it's lavender. It's uh, Lady Lavender. It's really tiny so far. I just seeded it this, this year. Here is my regular bean bed. This is, um, these are just a variety beans that I'm hoping that I can get enough at one time to be able to actually can a batch of beans. That is my goal. <laughs> so in here, I have my Waltham butternut squash. You can see it got a little bit sunburned and it's been kind of cold the last few days. So I put it back into the greenhouse. It's doing well. There's its one little squash it's got on it so far that I hand pollinated. And then I've got these Odessa Market peppers in here. They're still pretty little, so I haven't put them out. You can see they got sunburned too a little bit the first day. Well, it happens. They seem to be recovering just fine. Out here we have the chamomile, looking like it's ready to start being harvested. And then, uh-oh, look at this, my spinach and my bok choy. Oh, maybe I'll get some bok choy seeds, as that was the last one. Instead of harvesting this sucker, I think I'll let it flower. Uh, and this one too, but I'll come out here later today and pick the rest of these spinach. And look at this potato. <laughs> so hilarious. There's a potato in here that's coming up from last year. Anyway, uh, my Mariana tomatoes. Nothing is super happy because it's been kind of cold. Uh, they're in the ground and they're alive, but they're not super happy. You can see I got a ton of marigolds down there. I'm gonna have to transplant them. More coming up every day. <laughs> Ah, I got kidney beans. Look at my kidney beans back there. That's three of them there. Here's the loaded, loaded, loaded strawberry bed. Nothing is ripe yet, but we're starting to see a little bit of color. But look at all those strawberries. Crazy. My celery is growing. I got this one carrot here that's gonna go to seed. I've got these leeks that are going to seed. I have another kidney bean back there in the corner. And this is my brandywine tomato. And then my Scotia tomato and another bean. You can see it over there in the corner. And then I've got some lettuce. My asparagus is about done for the year. These onions are all gonna go to seed, so I'm gonna let them. I got more tomato here, more onion here. Here's my one last asparagus that I let just grow up. And uh, I'll just leave it and leave it for the rest of the year. And uh, yeah, and then we got our little walking onions and you can see, look at, they're putting out new onions here. So pretty soon I'll be able to pull these out and have fresh onions to plant. Look at those, look at how cute those are. They're all over doing this. And then I guess I harvest the rest of them and replant new ones. So cannabis plant is growing. Oh, look at my lemon balm. It's pretty happy. It's a little bit cold. It's not growing much, but it's there. <laughs> so yeah, that is my garden tour for the end of May. Thanks again, Gail, for putting on the garden tour 
collaboration. It is a lot of fun showing off my garden. You know I always love doing that. And just a reminder for anybody who's not involved in the Garden Tour Club, you can still join up. All you gotta do is show off tours of your garden. Just take a look at Gail Southern Living Channel. I will leave her link down in the description. She also is gonna be having monthly giveaways uh, for the people who are involved in the challenge. So there's a chance for you to win something sweet and special. Anyway, it's a little bit cold out here today. And as you all know, I am a fair weather gardener. So I am going back inside. I'm gonna finish off this video. I'm gonna tell you to have a fantastic day and I will see you soon. Bye now.